What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. So today's video, I've gotten a lot of questions on uh, technique specific rod and reel setups. Um, the biggest one right now is deep cranking. So uh, we're gonna go over deep cranking today. This is gonna be a two part video because I have two different rods that I use. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get it all into one video, but we'll, we'll see if we can. So today's video, we're gonna start with the kind of medium depth, uh, but it throws a really deep bait that I really enjoy. So let's go guys. guys so we are going to be throwing one of my all-time favorite deep diving crankbaits and that is the Rapala DT20 uh, this is just my all-around favorite bait and the reason why we're doing a completely different rod for this is because the Rapala DT20 is unique in the fact that it's not very heavy but it'll dive to 20 feet so we are actually out here on a uh, main lake point and uh, we're actually going to fish it for a little while with you guys while we go over this <clears throat> so the dt20 is uh is very unique because it comes in at one ounce and that's actually this is not a dt20 i'm sorry this is a dt14 but whatever it's the same as a dt20 same rod setup a dt20 will go to 20 feet and you're able to get it down there very easily because of its weight, its balsa. It has all kinds of different unique properties to it. But that's not why y'all came here. You came here for the rod setup. So the rod setup is going to be essentially the exact same thing as my other cranking stick. But this is actually a little bit of a lighter cranking stick. So it's going to be able to let it uh, fling it a little bit better. And I'm going to be able to get a little bit more distance on this one compared to if I were using the bigger crankbait. You know, those are sharp hooks when you hook a rock. So the rod setup that I'm using, this is an old 18 suppressor. Everybody knows this, all I use is old 18s. This is a seven foot four medium heavy moderate. That's, that's the catch to cranking. You want that moderate action so that it's really going to bend down in there. Um, we'll see if I can maybe show that to you. It really gets a good bend all the way through it. Um, and you know, that, that's something that I really like about it so that you don't have to set the hook really hard. Uh, you're just gonna kind of lean into it and then those treble hooks are going to, uh, the treble hooks are gonna do all the work for you. So the rod itself, like I said, a seven foot four, medium heavy moderate, it can throw up to a one ounce lure. That is why this rod is so perfect for the DT20. Now, when it comes to, this is, I guess, kind of your mid-range, uh, because I don't deep crank all year around, or, well, I don't deep crank uh, in the summer a lot. But when I do deep crank, I usually go to a DT20 and a 10XD, and I like to have two different rods to be able to, you know, get the maximum throwing capacity out of it. So with this rod, with the DT20, I have it paired with a Lose BB1. Um, this is, I'm not gonna lie, it's an old reel. Uh, I've, this is like the fourth or fifth season I've had with it. It's missing emblems and everything in it, but it's very hard to find a lefty in these now. And you want a slow gear ratio. You know, this is a five, six to one gear ratio. Uh, it's really gonna be able to handle those baits really well and just diving, 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 diving. And you know, th these are designed, the baits are designed to dive down. And when they're pulling and hitting hard on you, you don't want that fatiguing your back. So you want a rod and a reel that is gonna be able to handle that, that pressure for you. And this rod combo right here is the absolute perfect setup for that. The moderate action really handles it. And then the reel, you know, you can see I'm not, not fatigued very much at all by, by cranking this in and I'll throw this all day long. It doesn't matter one bit, um, you know, and that's what it's designed for. So as far as line goes, 
there's going to be a lot of debate on cranking the line. Um, obviously, 100% uh, fluorocarbon. Um, that's all I use is fluorocarbon. I don't, I don't really strafe away from that. You know, some people prefer braid to mono. Um, I just, I don't like that for anything, so I don't really throw that. Um, but I use, and the, the line size is gonna differ here and there. So the line size that I use for my DT14, DT16, and DT20 on this rod is 12 pound test suffix advanced fluorocarbon. Uh, I feel like it gives me the maximum uh, diving depth. It's still strong enough that I'm confident it's not gonna break over every single little rock that I'm fishing on. Uh, I'm just, I'm confident in that line all the way around. Uh, it, it's a good, Oh, it's a good fluorocarbon. I got it stuck on the camera. It's a good fluorocarbon. It's pretty abrasive, resi abras abrasion resistant. That's a hard word for me to say, apparently. And uh, that's just really the line that I like to use a lot of the time. Um, so that's the, that's the medium cranking setup that I have. Uh, you know, the rod itself, I, I love I love the rod. I love the harp on it. It's got a big butt to it. Uh, it really bends all the way in the back. And it bends, you know, all the way through the rod. You can see that thing flexing there. I mean, it bends all the the way back throughout the rod and that's something that I really love about these cranking rods from old 18 uh, you know that's going to give you the ability to be able to pull those fish in and not lose those fish because they can get they get pretty wound up when they're on a crankbait and you want to be able to keep them stuck no matter what you do all right guys so that's the medium diving crank and stick that we wanted to talk about today uh, the next video will be on the deep diving crankbait because I do have a uh, it's a little bit more in depth with the deep one because you do throw bigger baits and all that jazz but uh, do me a favor guys if y'all like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave me a comment down in the comment section below uh, I'll get back to everybody uh, this was this video was actually a comment in one of my previous videos that people wanted to see my deep cranking setups um, so you know I, I do take your suggestions as to what you all want to see so uh, be sure to get on there comment down there let me know what y'all want to see and uh, I will do my best to put them into play uh, you know another video we got coming up with the deep diving we got some buzz bait stuff uh, we've got some jig stuff again even I, I do a lot of jig stuff but uh, anyway guys like subscribe comment turn on those notifications in case we have some tackle warehouse gift cards coming up take care guys